All right, the Lone Star State continues to move forward in phases of reopening our economy. So uh, joining us live to talk about it, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Governor, thanks so much for joining us today. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you all. Well, let's start with the latest on the coronavirus numbers in Texas. We have seen a big spike here in Lubbock and across the state this past week. Of course, we did know this was a possibility as more businesses open up in Texas. Governor, how worried are you or should we be about higher numbers? Yeah, let me tell you three quick things. One is uh, there has been an increase in the number of people testing positive. For the most part, there have been some explanations for that. For example, uh, the day that we hit our highest mark, uh, about 20% of those were a one day reporting out of the Beaumont area, uh, all coming from prison based settings. We have seen an increase in other tests coming back from prison based settings that led to an increase uh, both in the number of cases as well as the positivity rate. Uh, over the past couple of days, we've seen both the number of people testing positive as well as the positivity rate decline. However, I do want to bring this to your attention because what I'm about to tell you is true in Lubbock, but also true across the state of Texas, and that is over the past week or so, really for the month of June, we have seen an increase in the number of people in their 20s testing positive. That is true in Lubbock. It is true in San Antonio. It was true uh, in Corpus Christi as well as many areas across the state. We believe that uh, a lot of people have let down their guard. The summer's here, uh, things are opening up, they feel like they can go out without having to wear a face mask, and they are not realizing this very important fact. COVID-19 still exists in Texas, in America, and across the globe. If you do not use these safe strategies, you will test positive for COVID-19. You need to wear a mask, you need to wash your hands, uh, you need to keep your distance from others because only you have control to ensure that you do not contract COVID-19. And the only way you can do that is by practicing those safe practices. All right, Governor, uh, talk about the current state of hospitalizations for COVID-19 patients in Texas right now. Listen, the number of people who are hospitalized has also increased. However, even though there are more people who are hospitalized, uh, outcomes remain good. Uh, but in addition to that, capacity uh, remains plentiful. Uh, even though more hospital beds are occupied by those who have COVID-19, there are an abundant number of hospital beds that are, are available, whether it be in Lubbock or these large cities. So we will be able to make sure that we can uh, treat and provide health care for anyone who tests positive for COVID-19. Governor, you made exceptions for the Amarillo and El Paso regions when you determined they weren't ready for expanded reopening. What exceptions are you considering for other areas that are not showing the same kinds of data with the rest of the states? First, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, we have seen uh, in the aftermath of those exceptions and then uh, once both Amarillo and El Paso uh, have come online and they are fully engaged in opening businesses just like other regions, their numbers both in Amarillo and El Paso have been on the decline. And so we have seen a positive result by surging the resources uh, into those regions. As a result, we will be using similar strategies in, in other areas across the state uh, to make sure that we will be able to respond uh, to any types of challenges that involves first and foremost surging resources into those regions. Secondly, it involves making sure that uh, we take the measures that, that will ensure hospital capacity is available for anybody who tests positive. All right, Governor, uh, what do you think public schools here in Lubbock or across Texas will look like when students return to class in roughly about two months? Sure. Expected announcement may be as early as next week on this. However, I will tell you that my goal is to see students back in classrooms, in seats, uh, interacting personally with teachers as well as other students. This is uh, a very important environmental setting for both the students, uh, for the teachers, uh, and for the parents. And so we believe that students in schools is the best outcome. This will be in part based upon maintaining the current level of the transmission rate of COVID-19, as, as well as making sure that schools, as they do open up, uh, will have safe distancing practices in place until such time comes along that we have medications that are able to treat COVID-19. 
All right, Governor, uh, some are urging a special session to be called uh, to deal with or pass laws on policing across Texas. Any chance of you calling a special session or will you likely just wait until the legislature convenes in January? These laws uh, are complicated. They Im involve a, a lot of buy-in and a lot of input uh, from a lot of different groups. That process is beginning as we speak. In fact, it's already begun. And so we are beginning the process of crafting uh, ideas, at least, uh, that can turn into proposed bills, that can turn into potential legislation. This is the type of thing that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, we need to make sure that we have agreement and buy-in from people across the entire state of Texas, and hence it is most appropriate to have issues like that come up during the regular session that begins uh, just about six months from now. All right, Governor Abbott, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us here in Lubbock. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you all and be safe. Absolutely. Thank you, sir.